turn your head in any direction. Okay. Look at this. This is called the Body VR. Basically an anatomy -like game where you go through the human body. I thought it might be interesting. Um, so here we are. So it's not going to be the best for you, but here we go. Our journey begins here, inside a blood vessel, carrying blood from the heart. Right. Let's take a closer look. Oh. What in the world is that? Whoa. We are currently inside an arterial, a small strand in a network of blood vessels that spread throughout the body. Whoa. Let's take a look at the blood's most prominent cell, the red blood cell. Red blood cells, or erythrocytes, take up almost half of the blood's total volume, giving a red color to our blood. Cool. Their main function is to transfer oxygen from our lungs to vital parts of our body. Interesting. And there's the white blood cells, the defense mechanism. Next up are white blood cells, or leukocytes, which mm -hmm. take up less than 1% of the blood's total volume. Their right. main function is to protect our body All from right. infection. Cool. Let's examine platelets, or thrombocytes, whose main function is to stop bleeding at the site of a damaged blood vessel. Alright. A type of leukocyte, the monocytes, creep through blood vessels to become macrophages and search for foreign invaders, which they eat and digest. Alright. On our right, you can see a tear in the blood vessel. Let's investigate. Let's leave the bloodstream through the tear to find a macrophage. Uh. We must now undergo further miniaturization. Whoa. We're going smaller? Whoa. Where in the wall are we? We are currently on the outside of the macrophage, within an infected tissue, looking at its surface. A typical cell membrane structure. There are okay. thousands of receptor proteins on the surface of the cell. Some of these proteins are tasked with transferring information, and others with transferring cargo. Alright. Water and oxygen pass freely through the cell's membrane. Interesting. Larger molecules, like glucose, enter through small pumps or channels. Alright. Said so something about infected. Large objects, like viruses, require recognition or keys to gain access, thus preventing unauthorized entrance. All right. Fortunately, I have a counterfeit key that's identical to a real one. All right. We are now entering the cell. Whoa. What is this? Macrophage has pulled us in, and we are submerged in the cytoplasm, a gel made mostly of water. 
The cytoskeleton okay. is made up of a network of adjustable strands that gives the cell its structure. There are three different types of strands that make up the cytoskeleton. Mm. Microfilaments are the thinnest strand, measuring only seven nanometers in diameter. Okay. Intermediate filaments are made of the protein actin and have a diameter of 10 nanometers. That's cool. Really small. Lastly, microtubules have a diameter of 24 nanometers, which nice. is wide enough to be used for transport. All right. Oh, look over there. What is that? What in the world is that? Right there. Look at that. A special type of protein called Kinzin motor protein has the ability to walk along microtubules. It latches onto larger structures and transports them around the cell. That's cool. Energy is available in the cytoplasm in the form of ATP molecules. ATP binds with kinesin and propels it forward. All right. With each step the kinesin takes, it binds with an ATP molecule and releases an ADP molecule. In real time, kinesin walks up to 100 steps per second. Oh, wow. The kinesin protein is heading straight for the cell's nucleus. Let's tag along for a ride. All right. Oh, we're on top of it. That's cool. We are now really cool. approaching the nucleus, the center of the cell. Oh. Look at that. The surface of the nucleus has its own membrane, similar to that of the cell. That's cool. Pores are spread around the surface of the nucleus to allow entry and exit of larger molecules. I never thought this would exist. This is cool, it's actually educational too. <laughs> I never expected that. Protein filaments are located around the edge to facilitate the transport. Cool. I honestly probably should have. But anyway, this is cool. This is insane. Oh, are we going into this? I'm not so sure about this. It reminds me of a Sarlacc. From Star Wars. Let's head inside. Okay. Sure about this? Is inside Here, the... we are inside the nucleus, the control center of the cell, containing the majority of the cell's DNA. The center of the cell, nucleus. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is a molecule that carries our genetic code. The DNA contains instructions for protein synthesis. It's cool. This is insane. In the process of transcription, a segment of DNA is copied into RNA, or ribonucleic acid, containing a single recipe for protein creation. Ribonucleic acid is what it means. 
as I'm American, I, I, I speak like ribonucleic acid and ribu, or whatever the heck he said. I have no idea. I'm not British, although I do love the accent. Shout out to uh, British people. Honestly, I don't care who you are. We're all we're all creations of God, so. You know, I, just, I just I'm just saying I like the out accent. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. Whoa. Whoa, where are we going? Let's exit the nucleus through a nuclear pole. Okay. Where are we going? We have exited the nucleus right. and are now floating through the cytoplasm. Surrounding oh. the nucleus is the rough endoplasmic reticulum, or RER, a maze like structure made of flattened membrane. Studied with ribosomes, the RER maintains a vital role in protein synthesis. All right. Ribosomes link together amino acids, following the instructions received from the RNA. That's cool. The protein is then transported in a vesicle made from a portion of the RER's membrane. What is this? What is that? In the distance, you can see a mitochondria. Mitochondria are oh, free-floating organelles, typically referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. It's a physical. Mitochondria received its name due to their vital role right in ATP generation. ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, is the main source of energy within the cell. Mitochondria take the pyruvate and convert it into carbon dioxide and water, releasing ATP in the process. Cool. Now that we have seen the major components of the cell, let's make our way outside. Uh. What is that? What is this? What are is these? The incoming virus attack headed for the cell. What? Oh no. It's not good. Fortunately, a cloud of antibodies is stationed around the cell to protect it from viruses. Oh man. cells consume the viruses as they are highlighted by the antibodies. Ah, my face. Together, the antibodies, white blood Tech. cells, form the front line of our immune system. You're stopping it. Thousands of viruses have made it past the antibodies. Viruses overcome the defenses, and some viruses are able to enter the cell using counterfeit keys. It's not good. There are too many Whoa. viruses. It looks like the cell is not going to survive. Let's head back to the observatory. Whoa. This is not good. That completes our journey through the human body. No, it we doesn't. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Oh. Hello, and welcome to the Body VR, an immersive tour through the human body. Keep in mind you can turn your head in any direction. 
Well. That sums up the body VR. That was interesting, learned a few things, and uh... Alright. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe and like, and also be sure to hit that... Ugh, I'm bending back too far. <laughs> um, hit that bell to never miss an upload. And also, be sure to um, also check out some of my friends, Ultra Screen Boss, The Chaz Man Gaming, Phantom Hunter 176, 176, I'm sorry, and, um, and, uh, Linkachu 101. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Oh, I'm just noticed I'm looking, looking the wrong direction. Bye, guys.